Welcome back YouTube and fellow berserkers. Today we're out in the forest near the Viking camp. We're going to collect up some pine resin and we're going to try to make pine pitch glue which is similar to the birch tar uh, glue that we tried to make here previously last year and we're going to see if we can actually do this. This is a very similar process. It's supposed to be a lot easier. I've never done this before so let's see what happens. Let's go find some pine resin. So here we have an example of a tree that has pine resin or pine sap around an injury such as a branch or a split in the bark and we're going to be very careful not to take too much that's one of the reasons I also have a, a specially prepared blunt wooden stick so I don't injure the tree as I take some of this pine resin off so what you're basically trying to do is just pry off small pieces like I just did there and try to get them in the can we're going to collect up some of this pine resin and we're going to try to make pine pitch, which is like a pine resin glue. I'm just trying to take off what's on the outside so I don't hurt the tree. And then we're just going to walk around and go look for some other trees that have the similar type of collection on the outside of the bark. And then we're going to go back to the camp and we're going to start a fire and we're going to get this mixed up with some coals. And we're going to see maybe if we're going to use some rabbit droppings. So this is an experiment. I've never done this before. So here I have a little bit of pine resin extracted from the outside of the tree here. I'm going to leave this because the tree needs to heal here. So I don't want to take off too much. It's got more than enough on the outside to safely still be sealed up. So we're going to go from tree to tree and collect up quite a little bit. Because that there isn't going to cut it. We're going to need some more. And then we'll meet up at the camp and get started. So after about three hours of walking around in the forest in the cold and the rain started to rain really bad and we had to hurry. It's about three hours worth of work. There was a fallen tree that was excellent. It had all kinds of broken branches and open areas where lots of lots of resin was collecting and that tree basically filled up the rest of this small coffee can. So now we're going to start a fire and we're going to put this on some heat and see what we get. So here's our ingredients that we're going to need for the pine pitch. As follows, we have pine resin, coals. I also have some beeswax. We're going to use a little bit of that. We're not going to use this entire piece. So now there's several different ways you could actually do this. You could also add to the mixture. You could also add rabbit droppings or deer droppings or some kind of fibrous materials such as uh, cattails from the from the reeds. The uh, We call them cattails here. They're like real fuzzy uh, seeds you put them in there and mix those up with this as well that gives it kind of a fibrous substance as well we're going to try this recipe out today and see how that goes and if this goes pretty well we'll stick with it and if not then we may go out and get some resources for another experiment so what i'm doing now i'm grinding up the coals into some really fine powder and that is going to give our pine pitch glue some strength so I'm hoping this will work. This is really difficult. The coals are wet, so they're not grinding up as nicely as they would as if they were dry. I forgot what it's called, the tool for doing this properly. I haven't invested in one yet. One made out of rock or out of wood, possibly. I'd like to do that someday. That is, I'm doing this more often lately, grinding up ashes for different projects and making paints and colors and soap. So since we're going into another lockdown here in Germany, I'm going to have a lot of time to be making videos here. I'm not quite sure what the situation is with my job. 
but it looks like we may also have to close down parallel alongside with the German government specifications. So it's going to be another struggle. On the one side, I have lots of time to make videos for you guys, which is excellent. And I'm looking forward to that aspect. And on the other side, it's a down draw. We're not moving forward in the world. We're moving backwards again. That's, that's a topic for another story. My channel is not about that. This is a, we're going to have some fun with this and try to make the best of the situation. So go ahead and leave some comments down below. What you would like to see me do, make, or explain, maybe make a video on. And I'm going to get back to seeing how the fire is coming along. And we're going to start this process here shortly. As you can see there, that's about how I'd like to get it to have it just on the side of the coals, not in the fire directly, or we'll, it'll catch fire instantly if you get it too close. And you get the temperature up too high, then you'll have a burning cup of pine tar. Now that we've got it to liquefy pretty well, I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the fire. And I'm going to add the charcoal to it and some beeswax and stir it thoroughly to see what we come up with. Now this really stinks a lot. I suggest being careful catch which way the direction of the wind goes. You see this sticks really well because it's already starting to stick this to the side of the can and it's really hard to pull off even in the hot can't imagine how this sticks together when it cools down so I'm using one of my sticks that I plan on dipping in here to make a, a like a, a pitch stick I guess you say really interested to see if this is going to work. I have a really nice consistency now. It's really nice and even. There's no lumps in it. It's very hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tongs here and just pull this very carefully out here onto the ground where it's a bit safer to work on. Okay, my alternative to doing this would be to let it cool until I can actually touch it and then just apply it to the stick and shape it as I need it and hope that that does it. This doesn't seem to be working the way I planned. It's cooled down. We're gonna, I'm going to try to knead it into like a Play-Doh bar, see if that'll work. Oh, that's hot. So hot, a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we get all of it out of there as fast as we can because it's still kind of hot in here. I had to watch, I just burned my hand, not knowing how hot this still is. Disgusting job, that's why I'm wearing gloves. Yeah, it's, it's sticking to my gloves like you won't believe. And now my glove is glued to this thing. That's pretty funny. Okay, seems to be working get this off of my hand. Yeah, once it gets dry, you can actually roll it nicely into a, like a stick. You 
is already hardened. So there we have it, our pine pitch on a stick. So I had to, there's a real short time window in which I was able to get it out of here, put it on the stick and knead it on there without having it stick to my gloves, get everywhere except on the stick and then get hard and not be able to roll it on there. So there's a real short time window between the time and it's just hot enough to still touch. Uh, so it's not too hot to actually burn you. So we're gonna go ahead and reheat this real quickly in the coals and there's still a whole bunch down in there. I have this stick that I used earlier with the flat tip on it. So I'm gonna use to get most of it out. When it hardens, it's now it's already like plastic. It's like hard plastic now. I, can, I can't even shape it with my fingers anymore. So we're gonna go over and put this on the, the fire one more time and then come back and get the rest of this out. It's getting pretty dark out here, so we're about to head out here. But this is the end product and it seems to have worked pretty well. So we'll see after I get this out of the fire what the actual final finished product looks like. All right, so we have two nice pieces here of pine pitch. Make sure it sticks on my stick there. And as you see, the bees wax leaves a small, you can see the wax now, a little bit of elasticity. And I can almost, if I just put this, Probably even just just roll it off my glove. And restick it on here. This is pretty cool. So for anybody out there who wants to naturally remove hair off your body, this would be the best solution. Hot beeswax pine pitch tar glue. <laughs> May start a new new beauty product line. Viking. Actually, that would make no sense. There's a whole bunch left in the can. I'm gonna go ahead and make a whole bunch of this and see that with different results and test out what works the best and then I'll make another video on that. This can all go back in here. It's going to get used the next time around. Comes right off my gloves, look at that. Cool. Well, it's getting dark out. That's all for today. Here's a actually excellent results. I have two nice sticks of pine pitch and I'm really happy with the results. I just gotta let them cool down and then I can uh, use it for something, store it and use it. So that's all for today, YouTube. As always, stay safe and uh, see you soon.